Buongiorno, studenti mei, my students. Chef Paradiso here, and today we are going to finish our fresh Danish pastries. I have our dough here. Our Italian day, though, for today is pasticcini freschi danisi. Pasticcini freschi danisi. So fresh Danish pastries, and that's what we're going to be making. So there's different shapes that we're going to be making with this dough. On page 204 and 205 in your book, you're going to see the snails. Half of this dough, we're going to roll out uh, and make snails. The other half, we're going to be uh, making uh, bear claws, bear claws, boulevards, pockets, and pinwheels. Those are our different shapes. All right, so let's get started with our dough. And we're going to roll this out. Ah, if I can get it unwrapped. Here we go. So I pulled our dough out, and your dough will be pulled out as well, and it'll be thawed for class. So I'm going to take half of this dough, okay, I'm going to do a touch of flour on the table, wrap this up, put it to the side, just for now. So that I have all purpose flour here, so we don't want to put too much flour but we don't want our dough to stick to our table or we don't want it to stick to the rolling pin. So what you want to make sure is that we have, okay, there's our dough, it's nice. Okay, so now we're gonna roll it very easily. Don't fold it, don't turn it, don't crunch it, don't do anything. All you're gonna do is cut it and start to roll it. And we're gonna roll it out about 18, 18 to 20 inches long by about 8 to 10 inches um, wide. So we're going to make sure that it's just the right size of what we want. So I want to make sure, again, we don't want it to stick to our table. Dust the top a little bit because I'm going to start to pull this up to see it's already starting to stick a little bit so we want to just make sure that we can unroll it there we go all right so here we're getting it our shape we need right notice how it shrinks back a little that's okay so Okay, so now we're going to make sure I have a ruler here. This is 18 inches here. So about 18, which is perfect. And it's about 10. It's, so it's a perfect size right there. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, so it's 18 by about 10 is what I went. And so we're going to fold this in half. We're going to brush the inside with butter. We're going to make sure my phone was ringing. My brother was just trying to call me. So he'll have to wait till I finish my, my demonstration for you. Okay, so butter on the inside. Half of this is cinnamon sugar. Now we don't want to put too much cinnamon sugar because then the dough won't stick to, to each other. So the front part is going to go to the bottom part. Press down. You can use your rolling pin. Don't push real hard though, just enough to seal the dough, seal that sugar. So now we're going to cut them. We can move our dough, so this is good. So now we're going to cut these about a half an inch, okay? So half inch here, I want to look, and I'm going to start on this side. So half inch, I want to just mark the first and the second and give you an idea. So about a half an inch, use your rolling pin. As you can see, you can, I can use my rolling pin. I want to cut the end, okay, with that, and then I want to go to the next. I'm just going to keep going down and cut. So it's about the size of my pinky. Yours might be a little bit different but it's about the size of, of, uh, of my pinky, the width of my pinky. 
So I'm going to roll these. I'm going to cut these all at once. And like I said, the rolling pin won't stick to your, your dough because we have a little bit of flour on there. And that's fine. It's not going to hurt our dough at all. We have quite a few here I'm getting, which is great. That I can share. So next, what we're going to do, and we'll, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put this to the side. What I want to show you, and put this over here, get rid of the, so what I'm going to show you here is you're going to stretch your dough a little, don't pull it too hard, and then hold one side, and you're going to twist going one way, and then the other. Stretch it, just go one way and the other. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start and just leave them flat on the table, and you're going to go around, and then you're going to tuck them underneath. So you want them flat, all right? So we're going to be making those. So those are our other. So I'm going to I'm going to do a close up with the rest of these, but I'm going to put them up here for now. Now I'm going to show you the next how big to roll out your next dough. I think that's more important. While well, I have the camera on as a as a, a full screen, and you can see how big the, the uh, this dough. Now this one's going to be. Um, almost the size of a half sheet pan is what we're going to look at for this. All right. Again, we're not making our dough in half. We're not folding it, punching it, rounding it, doing anything to make it uh, tough. Because that'll make our, our lose our layers and it'll get tough. So we're going to make sure we're going to roll this out. Roll it out here again. A little bit more flour on top. And if it feels like it's sticking to the table, just roll it up on your rolling pin like I just did. So this one, now these were not folding, okay? Not like when it's not gonna be a double layer, so it's gonna be a little bit different. They're, the shapes are a little different, so that's why the dough can be a little bit longer. There we go. And like I said, about the size of a half sheet pan is what we're looking for. Because they're going to be more square, squared off for all of our different shapes. So let's see here. Let's go a little bit longer. I'm going to look at our sheet pan here. Let's go a little bit longer. And this dough is really, really nice. So we're gonna go just a little, little bit this way. Make sure it's still rectangle. So this one's about a 16, 16 by 12. All right, so 16 by 12. I have to kind of remember that. So roll it out to a 16 by 12. Okay, so this, we're gonna cut these down the center. And then on one side, and then the other. So we're cutting it three times. Cut it three times because it's four pieces. And then we're gonna cut it twice to make squares. Now I'm going to change over, I'm going to change the camera, and I'm going to do a close-up to show you how to do all of our shapes. Some of these we have to fill before we fold them, and others we have to proof them before we fill them. So the fillings that I have for us are strawberry, raspberry, cherry, lemon, apple, hazel, and no almond, uh, peach, and an apricot. So I'm gonna show you different ones when they're, when they're proofed and ready to go, but I'm gonna show you now as a close-up of how to do the, uh, the snails and also the uh, four different shapes. Okay, so I will be back in one moment and you will see how they're all shaped. Grazie. 